Oh my goodness, that felt like it took an eternity to level these things all out. I, uh, I had to go four feet at a time because I only have a four foot level. But I got it all leveled. Everything is very level. We should have a really good even epoxy pour. So I'm gonna go mix up some epoxy and I'm gonna make these things look like marble. everything prepared. I've got my two gallons of epoxy. I've got a cup to mix just a little bit of gray resin in to do the marbling. I'm hoping that two gallons covers it. I think I can stretch it out even, even if it's not looking like it. I think I can. And I have four of these white metallic um, mica powders. I'm going to mix four of those all together in there. Four of those to two gallons of epoxy. So I should put some rubber gloves on. That would make, that would make sense. Well, one of the one of the downfalls to having a kind of a wing it flying naked personality is that I don't always prepare everything, and then I get halfway through it, and then I'm like, oh crap, I didn't get that ready or whatever. So I'm trying to work on that. So I think I'm all set. I got a roller ready and the boards are completely leveled and we're good there. All right, so here we go. Part A is going in. I don't want to mess this up because it's 600 bucks worth of epoxy. I really don't want to mess it up. All right, part B, going down. Wipe the bottom of that off first. We got part B, now we gotta mix. Say so mix it for two minutes. These are 15 grams each, so 0.5 ounces each. You probably don't want to snort this stuff. Probably not good for you. I like drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Fry your brain like an egg. Like a Friday. <laughs> I'm doing drugs. Open it up and it splattered right in my face. Three, one more. Here we go. 
looks like pearls. And I say you're not supposed to scrape the sidewalls anymore because you don't want any unmixed stuff in this container. Now, I'm going to take this little cup here and I'm just going to put a little bit in there for my marbling. I'm going to fill it, mm, let's see, fill in this solo cup, maybe halfway up. Okay, that looks good. Then, shoot, where'd my black one go? I'm gonna go find that. Oh my gosh. I had the black metallic somewhere. Oh, here it is. Looking all over for this thing. I knew I had it out here. All right, this is also 15 grams, but it's black. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. Cause I wanna do this sub shower. More subtle marble than my than my island. Okay, that's just a little bit I put in there. Get a stir stick. I'm gonna pour a little bit more white in there. So let's say we do three quarters of the cup white with just a little bit of the black. Just a tiny bit of the black. It's so pretty. Okay, let me show you what this looks like. All right, so that is what my marbling color looks like yeah pretty all right here we go i'm gonna start on this one here spread. Now I'm going to add the uh, set roller down some more. And I'm going to add the marbling. But I'm going to put a mask on because I'll be honest, this is bothering my, my mouth and my nose a little bit. So I'm going to mask up.
Whew, that was like an hour's worth of work to roll all that and marble it and then run my blowtorch over it. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna flip it around and show you. So that's what we got. It's kind of a close up of what it looks like there. I tried to get it pretty much so each panel blended into the next, like that marbling there will blend into that marbling there sort of thing. Hopefully that works out. I don't think it'll make a huge difference either way. Sort of be a, a subtle, it's more subtle than our island. Maybe I should hold that a little something right there, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all good. The pearl's kind of cool. Like it, you can almost see my roller marks in it a little bit though. I don't know if I love that, but that might sort of meld together. We'll see, pretty much, I just have to let it dry overnight now, and then I can top coat it. And the roller marks will probably go away a lot when I top coat it with the satin anyways. But that is kind of where we are at. Let's see if I can give you an overall view of all three panels here. I think it'll look really nice in the shower. Man, I can see where when they do those, what they call exotic pours, where you don't even roll it, you just pour the whole thing on and you would need like three times the amount of epoxy I just used for that because you can't roll it. You can't uh, blend it all together. It's just gotta come together on its own. That would take a lot of epoxy. It looks super cool. I wanna do some stuff like that in the future, but yeah, not right now, that's expensive. So that's what we got. We'll see how she looks all up in the shower. The other thing I did when I was over here today, Sunday afternoon, is I hung up the bathroom mirror. Look at that. Look, there's me and me and me and me and infinitely. Like if you can zoom up, you can go way back and there's probably 20,000 of me. Who knows? But that looks pretty cool though. And then I also, trimmed out the ceiling in the hallway. Look at that. All trimmed out. So I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go chill now. It's Sunday. I've done my marbling for the day. It's time for me to go. All right, it's Tuesday morning. I'm looking a little rough. But me and Mike are here working on the ceiling and the walls. So we've sanded all of the mud on the seams. And we're gonna start texturing in a minute. We're gonna crank this room out.
smokes. I stink. I look rough. I'm dusty. I need a shower. So I'm gonna go home and take a shower. But, oh my gosh, that was so worth every penny I spent. Mike, the drywaller, is amazing. Super, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Super good guy. Worked really reasonably, very reasonably price-wise. Money well spent. Like, he worked fast. It saved me probably a week. One of the best decisions I've made this whole experience. So if you need a drywaller and you're local, right there that guy money good job so thanks to mike he made my day so i'm gonna go take a shower let that uh texture dry and then i can get to priming we are on our way we're gonna be living here soon and then i can get a haircut and my buddy jim who's growing his hair along with me can get his haircut too because he's a mess What do you think? I decided to do a slick back look. I feel like a Harley rider. That's what it feels like. I feel like I should be riding a Harley. Mm -hmm. Bad to the bone. She's laughing at me. I think it looks good. I might keep it this way. What do you guys think? <laughs> This is a thing of beauty. I got Michonne's car power washed. I power washed the Jeep. They are currently salt free. And I like that. I like salt free. Although the insides are disgusting right now. These floor mats need a good power wash. I need a good vacuum. But Gotta start somewhere. It's 40 degrees today. 32, I'm sorry, 32 degrees. That's the warmest it's been in weeks. All right, I took a shower. I power washed the cars. I slicked my hair back. And now I'm going back over to the house to do some more work. What should I do? Should I build cabinets? I don't think the drywall texture is ready to prime yet. That's probably still too wet. I'll figure it out in a minute here. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna work on. I gotta get these shower walls done. So I gotta sand them down with 220. Yeah, no, that's crazy. I gotta sand them down with 220. So this is a good opportunity to show you what I was using for sanding the drywall because it's gonna work good for these shower walls as well. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you what I'm doing. All right, so I got my rigid shop vac here hooked up to a hose that goes all the way to my Makita sander. And the Makita sander has holes in it under the sanding pad that go out to my dust collector there. And this is that sand net that I was showing you in I think the last video. It is cool stuff. It's basically a screen. So all the dust goes in there and blows out the back and into my vacuum. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna sand these shower walls and then I can top coat them with the uh, satin epoxy. All right, so basically what I'm doing with the sandpaper, see how shiny that is? I'm taking all the shine off. So I got this one. All nice and dull. Scratched up with 220 so that the top coat sticks good. So that one took me probably 20 minutes to do. So I probably got another hour's worth of sand in here. And then I can top coat these things. It's been a long day. There's so much moisture in here. We put three, no, four buckets. Four five gallon or four gallon buckets of mud on the ceiling for texture. It's so humid in here, the front door, it's wet. That's inside the house. You know, I got my dehumidifier going. That should help things. But I ran out of battery earlier. I was gonna show you the uh, top coat, but my battery died, so I got her charged back up. I'll show you now. 
Turns out I mixed up way more top coat than I needed. Look, at, I got all of this top coat left in the pan, but it's already hardening up. It's like kind of mushy. It's pretty hard. No way you could roll it anymore, that's for sure. Look at it. It's kind of breaking away from the. Yeah. It's turning chunky. Chunky, chunky. So the top coat is on. I did not need as much as I mixed up, but I was going by what they said. So I put it on actually pretty thick, but it's got a nice satin sheen. I know the lighting's horrible in here. All I have for lighting right now is my little work light, but it's got a nice satin sheen. It looks beautiful. So tomorrow that should be nice and dry. I'll roll these things over and top coat the back sides of them so they are completely sealed all the way around that's the plan so i've got my uh dehumidifier going to try to get rid of some of this moisture it holds 50 liters i've already emptied it once in the last two hours so the thing is sucking the moisture out of here and it's a good thing because that front door is wet all right, that's it for now. Thank you everybody who has been watching our videos and commenting on our videos. We feel loved and appreciated and we like the feedback. If you, if you got bad feedback, hit me with it. We can take it, we're tough, we're thick skin. I'm always open to suggestions, but I'm doing the best I can. So thanks for watching. See you next episode.